Hey there, this is JJ with my bring back, coming back with uh, the basics of WordPress. And uh, as we as we take off into this next session, I wanted to show you guys something. Um, we're basically going to be going over themes today, how to change them, how to adjust them. In the previous video, we went through the actual admin panel of WordPress and the different things you can do back there. So it's it's pretty complex program, but it makes it simple for you guys out there. And uh, what I want to touch base on is is this Appify WP. And this makes it easy for you guys to actually market your apps when you're out there on the web. Um, so take for example, you, you develop an iPhone app or an Android app or a Mac app, and you want to market yourself so that uh, so that people can find you and they they look at your app and they can understand its features, its benefits, and then you know if you offer it for sale, hopefully they purchase it off your site, etc. But uh, using WordPress, they have different themes, and themes are basically you know taking all the functionality of a website. Um, designing it all in the same look and feel and then putting it into a box so you can use it and so with this this company has actually developed a WordPress theme and so right now they're offering it for $39 um, which is actually a pretty reasonable price for a theme and then it's gonna save you a ton of time actually setting up your um, displaying your your app on the website and all that so great feature out there so but one to appeal to you guys because I know you're going through Trav's tutorials and uh, this is just another great way that you can market your app and get it out there. So what I want to show you now is the themes, how to actually download them, how to implement, implement them, and um, where to find them. So this Appify WP, I just searched for WordPress themes for, uh, for app developers. This was one of the ones that came up. May not be you know exactly what you're looking for, but this has some great... Uh, some great uh, functionality to it. I'll post a link below, so take a look and uh, look out for that, so you can you can see how to do that. So let's actually launch into how to actually download themes, where to find them, and then put them into our WordPress and launch our own site. So what we're, where we're going to start, we're actually going to look for the themes. Where do we go? Well, WordPress. I'm going to take you to the, their site, WordPress.org. You can go to Extend, and they've got themes here. They've got a whole directory of free themes, which you can see is over 1,300 themes that are just free. So take a look, a look, uh, look through what you like. There's you know ranging from girl theme, you know the pink themes all the way to the black, you know color specific, all that. I'm gonna go ahead and I looked at a few of these most popular ones to see you know what kind of the functionality they had. I like this graphene. So I've actually downloaded that, and uh, you know it's as simple as just downloading it. It comes in a zip file on your PC, um, and then what we've got to do next is now that you've found a, a, a theme, whether you've searched stuff for it on Google or you found it on the WordPress's free theme directory, or maybe even even paid for one um, through one of the through a company like Woo Themes or Platform. Now we've got to take that theme. We've actually got to implement it into our WordPress site. So now we're going to go to the back end of WordPress, as I previously showed you, the admin panel. And uh, you guys know how to log into there. You go to yourdomain.com slash the subdirectory, um, which mine is demo slash WP admin. You don't need the index.php because we're already logged in. And so you can see I've already logged in. I'm under demo. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the appearance menu. And then we've got several options here. And these options down here are going to be specific um, to the the current theme we have. We can adjust stuff, and it'll transfer over to the new theme. What we're going to do is we're actually going to click the themes button a menu there. It takes us into what we have as our current theme, which is the default 2010 um, by WordPress. And then also, you know, this is where you can search and find um, themes. And uh, so we're going to go to install themes. Since we have already found one we can click this upload here if you haven't found one you want to find one through um, WordPress is easy to use filter searching um, go ahead down here that's where you can click what color you want you know do you want two columns um, stuff like that it gives a little bit of filtering there you can look at the newest and recently updated etc but since we've already found the graphene theme we're just gonna click upload which is gonna take us to an install menu and we're gonna click to, uh, click to find the file and lucky for us it's right there so we can go and choose it and take note it's got to be a dot zip format um, and that's why that's why it makes it super quick because they take care of unzipping it installing it and whatnot so go ahead and click install on that 
It's going to take, uh, you know, anywhere from 10 to 20, 30 seconds, something like that. So in the meantime, I'll talk about, uh, you know, Trav's great videos on Android app development. As you guys are rolling through that and you've got a you've got an app built, put it in the market again, go through the, the tutorials on WordPress and how easy it is to actually market your app and sell it or just show the features and benefit of maybe a free app. Um, so, okay, now we've got the installing the themes. It's ready to go. We can preview it first to see what it looks like on our site, or we can just click activate. We already know what it looks like, so we're going to click activate on there. And there we go. So now as we go to our, uh, to our site, let's go ahead and refresh this page. And shazam! We've got a whole new look to our website. I mean, we are looking professional now. If I go, if you were to come to this site now, and let's say I actually had some content on it, maybe I was selling an app, you you could not you couldn't not buy it. I mean that's just, it's it's a it's appealing now. All right, so we've got it installed now. Now we got to make sure that that the theme that we've looked at or the theme that we've downloaded is exactly what we want for a website. So and what I mean by that is is you got to make sure that it maybe has some social capabilities to share, maybe share with Facebook, Twitter, etc. Um, and then also you got to make sure that it's got the right functionality. A lot of the free themes out there, maybe they only have a small subset of of the uh, options available, and then they maybe offer a premium that you got to pay for, maybe 89 bucks, 100 bucks for their full capabilities theme. So definitely ch make sure that the theme that you downloaded does exactly what you want it to do and uh, and whatnot. So each theme is going to be a little bit different. So as we go back to the back end, um, you'll you'll take a look at this one, the graphene options. It's actually got quite a few. It looks like. Um, let's take a look at the top bar options, and as we can see, this this is exactly what we want. We want we want to share our Twitter URL and our Facebook URL on the top bar so people can share us. You know, if they find our app useful, they can share it with their friends. So they can download it. They find your blog useful, etc. They can share it. So let's go ahead and throw in. Uh, let's see, my bring backs Twitter. Let's save it. Let's go back and take a look and make sure that's exactly what we want. Refresh the page, and right up here we've got now we've got a Twitter account that they can follow. They can click. They can you know add to their Twitter, follow us, etc. So go ahead and take a look at the options within your theme. And like I said, they're all going to be different. So make sure you know your theme has the capabilities that you're looking for. Um, venture around, test out different stuff. You're really not going to hurt anything here because you can always delete the theme. You can change themes, etc., and go back to defaults. So, take a look at uh, the options available, and uh, and then and then we'll move into the next lessons of actually how do we modify content on the site. Now that we've got a theme that we like, let's make it look like it's you know our content, not the basic default. Um, my blog. We wanna we wanna put a title on the site. We wanna put um, some pages in there. Maybe show show some different posts, how to how to set up the blog, how to set up uh, how to share stuff. So that's what we're going to be going over in the next tutorials with WordPress. And then uh, you know again, after that we're going to be looking at other platforms, e-commerce, we're going to be looking at forums and how do we get uh, everything connected? How do we how do we make them work together so we can get your name out there, etc. So stay tuned again uh, if you have any questions drop us some comments subscribe on the my bring back channel on YouTube you'll be seeing a lot of new videos on WordPress a lot of new videos on Android app development um, so basic stuff though we're, we're starting from the ground up so we can help you guys out there um, that are just learning and we'll go through that